da, da, da. Da, da, da. Here we have a, a backing, could be studs and sheathing, could be block, it doesn't matter for the sake of this illustration. But let's talk about the maximum distance that you can kick out that brick veneer from the backing. And that is either four and a half inches or six and five eighths inches, depending on which edition of the IBC you're, you're, you're designing to. The 2015 IBC references the 2013 TMS 402, which again is a masonry code, <clears throat> tells us four and a half inches for that structural gap. And then that was, um, that, that number grew when the uh, TMS 402 2016 edition came out to six and five eighths. The reason it grew is because everyone is using really thick insulation and because of increased concerns for thermal, you know, thermally efficient walls. So the wall tie manufacturers have been beefing up their, you know, their, the thickness of the wall ties. And, you know, we saw this change coming that these walls are getting thicker to accommodate thicker insulation. Okay, and now there's a different way to measure, and that is from the face of the insulation to the cavity side of the brick. This is for moisture. So the bigger number is better here because we, if this number gets too small, it becomes, it becomes difficult to maintain a drainage cavity that will function effectively. So this is one inch minimum, but really two inches is recommended. Recommended by who? recommended by International Masonry Institute, that's us, and we speak for the bricklayers and allied craft workers, and most of the other masonry associations out there fully acknowledge, and we all have for years, that a two inch airspace is gonna be easier to prevent mortar bridging, mortar fins, mortar protrusions, whatever you want to call them, that could impede the flow of water down the cavity and out the weeps via the flashing. It's also easier to lay brick if the bricklayer can get his knuckles you know, in there. If you only have an inch or less, it becomes more difficult to lay the brick.